Okay, guys. I've got a dilemma here. It's not really a dilemma as much as it is just kind of a pain in the ass situation. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And we're going to fix this problem. Okay guys, so what, what the problem is here, let's say, you know, this is my workbench, right? Let's say I want to work on this CB, okay? And I just got this camera up here for instance, okay? Now as you can see down here, this is where my chair goes, right? So, if I'm working on this CB and I'm filming it, as you can see, I've got to sit off to the side of this and I'm always looking you know I can't tell if I'm in view or not that's why I'm always going damn you guys can't see nothing right so if I'm working on this thing I either got to work you know behind the camera like this you know around it or I've got to work beside it and I keep bumping the camera now what I want to do is I want to I want to be able to have my tripod oops, like off here to the side of me show you, like over here to the side so I can still sit right here and work on something but still have the camera up here how am I going to do that well what I'm going to do is where this camera mounts on I'm going to take this this uh, flat bar I've got here and I'm going to mount it onto the tripod just like that and then I'm going to mount my camera up here like this so that way you guys can still see and I can still do everything I want to do right here and I can look through the camera if I want to okay so that's what that's what I'm going to do so let's put this down here and uh, let me get this this camera off of here okay see that's how that goes on there so let's go ahead and take take the base plate off of course this camera still works I just like I like using the camera I'm using right now because for the fact that that camera there has no like autofocus when you get something close up you have to put another lens on it a macro lens to get it to focus and it still doesn't work that great so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here what I'm going to do is weld a nut on the bottom of that okay and that way I can screw this bar on there and then over here I'm going to put a bolt through so I can mount let me show you like this okay see so it's going to be like this so see how that's over top of where I'm going to be working so let me hold this here like this and then my camera whatever camera I'm using can mount on there so that's what it'll be looking like so my camera will be here and my tripod will be over here and I can still got room to put my chair so now that being said, we have to go get some stuff. I just have this sitting here for an instance because, you know, to show you like if I was working on something. At least that way you're not staring at a blank table, okay? I'm still getting, I still need to get a, as you can see I've got the mic for this CB that Edward gave me. Thank you, Edward. Um, still looking for an antenna. I don't want to get one at Walmart. They're only 16 bucks, but I, I like the old magnet mounts. I'm just into old stuff. But, okay, so we need to go get a couple nuts, three or four nuts, and a couple bolts. That's that size right there. And um, that way I can tighten it up when I put my camera on. Um, so monkey should be on her way home now she got off early we're going to go get a tire and we're going to go get some nuts for this thing and i'll show you i may just jb weld that i need to pick some jb weld up anyway and i may just 
drill a hole and JB weld the uh, the nut on or I might tack weld it with the welder we'll just see but first of all let's go get the nuts well let's go get a tire changed when she gets here and we'll go get the nuts and bolts I need for this little setup here and I'll be back with you it's gonna take me a little bit but I'll be back with you and you'll get to see it in just a second so hang tight guys so like I said we're on our way well we stopped to get the tire first and then we're gonna go get the bolts this is why we're putting a tire on well it needed one anyway the tread's not that great so it's down to the tread wear bars right there but if you look at this dry cracking it's a good way to blow out a sidewall so we're just going to use this one for spare we're going to go get our bolts and then I um, monkey sent me a link to something she wanted for supper and I was like oh yeah sounds good you gonna make it tonight and she said yeah unless you want to <laughs> so I'll have a, a video coming up uh, what's it called forgot cheeseburger it's a cheeseburger casserole. Cheeseburger casserole. So we're going to try it. Yeah, so something we're gonna, different. We're going to go get our bolts and then we'll go to the store and then we'll come back and I will um, finish showing you what I was starting to earlier. So we're on our way to get the stuff. Yep. Okay guys, we're back with our parts. I made monkey supper. I did a video on that that will be under Chef Shea Bear list. So if you guys playlist, so if you guys uh, watch my videos, you'll see it. Hopefully you do. And if you're a first time watching, please subscribe and uh, take a few seconds and comment because subscribing is free. Okay, now what we've got here, I've got this. This uh, it's a flat bar. Okay, uh, this came off of a a wire rack. Okay, I've got two of these, so I can make another one if you're interested in purchasing one of these. And if I get enough people that want them, I will sell these. But I have enough right now for another one, so if you want to purchase it, let me know in the comments below. Get a hold of me, and um, we'll go over the details uh, price-wise and everything like that. Okay, now this is white, but I'll probably end up painting it black. So I've got my... I've got my uh, my torch here. I've got my solder. I've got a couple. I bought these two bolts. I don't think I'm going to need, but if I do, I got them just in case. They were thirty cents a piece. They're just quarter twenty bolts, one inch long. But I'm going to set these to the side because I'm not going to need them at this moment. Okay. I've got four quarter twenty nuts. I've got a washer. And I've got this. This is a quarter twenty thread. Uh, I think it's one inch or is it three quarter inch? Uh, let me see. Looks like three quarter inch. Okay. So we're gonna have that. Excuse me. And we also also picked up some of this uh, this epoxy right here. Um, just in case, because I'm gonna try to solder that. If it don't work. I was thinking about just uh, putting a tack weld on it, but that kind of looks ugly. So I'm going to try to solder this first, okay? So I'm going to get a drill bit out, and I'm going to I'm going to mark a hole where where I want it. I'm going to drill it out, but first I'm going to um, get this paint off of here so my solder will stick, hopefully, and um, we'll go from there. Let me get that get everything ready for that, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, folks, so what I've done is I've marked my hole. It's one inch from there, from the end of this to the center of that. I've marked it, and I've already put an indentation in it so my drill bit won't walk. Uh, I've got a small drill bit in here. I'm not sure what it is. It's one that was already in there, but it's going. it'll make for a pilot hole. Then I'm going to use a 1564. Uh, drill bit for my hole for my bolt to go through. You'll see that here in a minute. So let's just go ahead and get this drill. All 
right, there's my pilot hole. Now, we're going to drill the, the hole that we're going to need for our bolt to go through, which the bolt that's holding, the tripod that I'm, these, these cameras are um, um, quarter 20. Okay, the bolts that hold your camera on your tripod and stuff like that, they're all the same. So let's go ahead and use this and see if it's going to be big enough. This, believe, believe it or not, this is tight, guys, but the drill chuck is, is not very good. Okay, so there. Now, if this fits, then I know the one on the on the base plate on the tripod will fit. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit bigger. I'm going to go the next size up, which is a quarter inch. Okay. And we're going to drill this. And I'm going to have to drill a hole in the other side as well, which I may drill multiple holes so I can adjust my camera, you know, different in or out or whatever. I'm not sure yet, but we'll start with one. All right, there's that. See if that fits. Okay, that's perfect. So I ended up using a quarter inch drill bit. Okay, and as you can see, that's fine. Now what we're going to do next is prop this up is we're going to try to solder this nut on here okay so I think what I'll do so that doesn't move and get crooked I'm going to screw it on to this bolt here I'm going to put that in there and now I'm going to solder the nut on there I don't think that hole's quite in the center oh yeah I guess it is See, here, here's why I'm building this, guys, is because I'm standing at the side and it looks different. But now that I look straight on it, it looks okay. So, let's go ahead and we're going to heat that up and we're going to try to solder that on there. Now, let me get you down here a little closer. Let me get you a different cam camera angle so you can see the soldering process. Okay, now I think you guys can see that okay. Let's go ahead and get my torch lit up. does that but it does you know what let me put a piece of steel down here Alright guys, all I did was just tack welded that on there. It's not going to be holding anything heavy. 
So let's let that <laughs> let's let that cool down. I forgot that end piece was aluminum, but let's let this cool down, and then we'll see if that part's going to work okay. Okay, so I just tacked it on. It's not very pretty, but once I sand it, and, whoops. Once I sand it and paint it, it will be fine for what I'm going to do with it, okay? So, it's cooled down. I ran it under some water. Alright, so, let's get this bolt up. Damn it. Let's get this bolt out of here. And, we'll see if this fits the uh, base, plate on, base plate on the tripod. Okay, so that's welded on there. Nice. Now, here's the base plate. Damn it. The base plate off of the tripod see this doesn't this you can you're supposed to use a coin or whatever but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here like this now what I like to do is turn it a little bit and then turn the base plate and that tightens it up real good so just like that okay see where I'm going with this so this is what we've got so far now we're going to drill a hole clear through on this end here okay that this is going to go up through and that's what's going to screw into the camera so let's get to drilling That one may be a little off center. I got you on a different angle here. We'll try to do this without bumping into the light. Okay, so now this hole is where this is going to come up through. Now I may have, this may be too long, so I may have to put a nut on it too but we'll just have to see so let's get a camera and let's see if this is going to work it's actually going to go like this okay so I may have to put a nut on this end which would be fine because It'll keep me from losing this bolt. I may not need the washer with this nut on here. So let's take the washer off and just use the nut. Okay. Now. Just like that. And I'll show you here in just a second what I'm talking about. Okay guys, this is what I've got. See my tripod is clear over here, but my camera is up here. See that? Let's turn this on. I got it on the charger. It's probably charged. Yeah, it's full charged. But then I can turn it wherever I want. See now... I can still record and I'm sitting in my chair perfectly fine and I can adjust my up here okay. this is however I need it to be okay now I'm gonna set you down here so you can see what I'm talking about well first let me show you the uh, see there's my chair there's the camera I can raise this or lower this with my crank here however I want it and I can just sit right down here just like this okay so let me get you set up over here 
I'll give you another angle of what I'm looking at. Now, as you guys can see, hopefully, I am sitting very comfortably. Here's the camera. Here's my mic. Um, but I'll probably mostly be using that camera, but it'll work on any camera. Here's the tripod. I can move this up and down however I want. I can turn it back and forth however I want this. So, and I'll be showing this clip from this camera. As you, that way you can see what I'm talking about. I can sit comfortably in my chair. I'm just sitting. I'm not, let's see if I can bend you down here. See, I've got plenty of room. There's the tripod clear over there. And here's the camera. So I can still see what I'm doing right here. I don't know if you can see that. I can see what I'm doing both up here and down here. When I'm working, um, no big deal. This is perfect for me, guys, because this is a kind of a pain a little bit, but it's better than having to stand way over here or work and clear around the tripod. This way, there's less chance of bumping into things, and I can work on things like this. I can adjust it right here if I want. I got my zoom. I can look through here. I can zoom in on something if I want and not have to, you know, turn around and look at the screen to see if, if I'm in shot. I can just zoom in right here and I can say see there you go. Is it practical? Hell yes. Can you make your own? Hell yes. Just do what I just did. But if you want, like I said, I'm going to clean this up and paint it black. Let's go ahead and stop this. I can, I'm can. i going to clean this up, paint it black. If you guys want one, get a hold of me and I'll let you know what these cost and you know. I'll make you one or two or whatever and I'll get them sent out to you. But get a hold of me if you're interested. So with that being said guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, this is something I came up with. This is my idea. I've never seen this before. Now I'm not saying that people hasn't done it or they may even make this kind of a setup. I just haven't seen one and I know I've been sitting here, you know, I'm always man, you're not in shot. This way I can make sure you're in the shot or I'm in the shot whatever I can make sure I can zoom in right here I don't have to bend around the camera no more so and I, I, I said I gotta make this I gotta you know do something I didn't want to hang a camera off the ceiling I don't I don't want to do all that it just doesn't feel as personal you know I mean it works fine for some people just then then they're always looking up like this and they're adjusting up here right here everything's right here right here and I'm comfortable I can move around. I'm not going to bump the damn camera, you know, unless I bump it up here. But usually I'm working down here and I can see what I'm doing. And that helps me because, you know, my eyes ain't as good as they used to. I've got that blind spot now, you know, since the stroke. So this helps me out a lot. I can zoom in on what I'm working on. Um, it's more comfortable. This is going to help me out a lot, guys. It really is. So, again, if you're interested, comment below. Get a hold of me. And, um... I'll make you guys one, you know. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, and it'll be good for Monkey too. Monkey, you know, when she's doing her her pro projects or whatever. If I'm doing one of mine, or I'm doing something else, maybe I'm editing a video. She's not going to need me behind the camera and doing all that. She can do it just like I'm doing it. So it's going to help her out too. So again, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Uh, I'm gone for now and hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your week hopefully things go well from Tuesday through the weekend and we'll chat at you soon I've got some more videos coming up I've got to go to the doctor tomorrow but after that um, I'm gonna make some videos uh, I may uh, do the solar car you know we'll see about that so anyway thanks for watching guys I appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the man legend once again don't forget that <laughs> I'm gone for now Bye-bye, guys, and you take care now.